What we're going to do today is a 1G plate weld using shielded metal arc welding on a half inch thick groove joint. I'm going to do a little diagram on the board of what we're going to do when we get out there and then uh, we'll go out there and weld it. Our plates are beveled. Using an oxygen fuel process, that's about 30 degrees bevel. This face right here is roughly one eighth of an inch. So we put them together. There's going to be a little gap. This gap is just under a sixteenth of an inch right here. These faces are roughly eighth of an inch. So first uh, the rod we're going to use is 6010 3 30 second diameter. So we're going to weld our root like that. Then we're going to switch to 7018 eighth of an inch. We're going to do one pass on top of that. Then two passes on top of your one pass. And then the cover is going to be three passes for a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven passes. This is one half of an inch thick plate. Your allowance on how, how much convection you can have at the top is eighth of an inch. So that's going to be up to here. And the same thing for your roof, you have up to an eighth of an inch convexity there. That's according to D1.1 Structural Steel Welding Code from AWS. We're going to be using a uh, Miller Trailblazer Generator Welder. It's a pipeline machine. Um, once we start this up, you won't be able to hear anything, but we're going to start on uh, 6010 here. It's got a stiff and a soft setting. The 6010 we're going to run at 71 amps. And I will start it off and you can see the gauges. First ones we're going to use are 60 tons of these right here. Uh, like I said, 332nd of an inch diameter. And then we're going to cover it with 7018, eighth of an inch. You can see it's about eighth of an inch right there. The plates, uh, I got some pre beveled here just to show you what the bevels look like. Um, you can see 30 degrees, eighth inch face. When you tack them together, flip them upside down, get them on a flat surface, and then you can put however big your root opening is that you want. Then you take your 7018 and weld across like here. Get a good tack on there because when you're welding this, it's going to warp and it could break your tack. This is an example of the one that we already welded and tacked up. So then you're going to end up with that when you start. Yeah. All right, so we're starting out. I've got this at 71 amps. You can run between 60 and, I don't know, 75 roughly, uh, depending on your welder. And you want to, your uh, goal in life for the 6010 is to bleed through. Almost looks like you welded it from the other side. You get full penetration. So here we go. You ready? Yep. Finished our first pass with the 6010, and you can see we're getting pretty good penetration there. That little hole is called a keyhole. Uh, where people mess up the most is when they try and restart another bead. What I always do is I'll start it back here, I'll start it back here, and let the arc get established, and then plunge it back down through that keyhole and keep going. That way you have complete uh, fusion all the way through that, and you won't have a little hole there. Um, D1.1. Uh, structural steel code dictates that you can't have any lack of fusion on your root. So you, it's really important to get good at uh, starting and stopping. That's our uh, root pass on the back side and you can see how it's all blended in and it's complete penetration. We're switching to uh, 
about 70, 18, 8 inch. It's going to be a much smoother um, arc. Uh, the first pass, I usually do a little bit of a weave just to blend it all in. We're going to melt in that first uh, pass of 6010. Uh, uh, the slag is much thicker. It's a rutile based, mineral based flux rather than a cellulose based flux that is um, on the 6010. That's the hot pass of 7018. We're now going to do two 7018s over that and then three over the till. Done, you should have a stub about that big, three quarters of an inch to an inch on a seven and a half inch length plate. That's how much burn off you should get. And now we're going to put down our fourth bead here. That's the third layer, that's your two 7018s, and now we're going to cover it with three more 7018s. <laughs> so I just quenched it, and now I'm going to do the three covers. Frickin' camera, would you? I apologize. Alright, I just you know, finished the second pass. The um, goal of the second pass is really to cover half the first pass and then go half into new material. And then the third pass, we're just going to try and fill this little groove in right here, so. Say something, say it's the third pass or something. Third pass. Blend it in pretty nicely. We'll clean it up here and then get another look. Top looks like the final bead. You can see, it's got convexity, less than an eighth of an inch. It's so smooth, I'm gonna have to cool it down with some butter. <laughs> 